So are you How did that happen? Military. Not military. You're privately trained. So two, 2,650 gallons. Wow. Oh, so you can put three people in there if you need to. Yeah? Is this another? So is this where the bombardier, I guess, sits, or for backseat construction? No, it can he, he, but he can't control the aircraft from there. Yeah, he can for doing sets like this tank would be off. He would have like a um, a wind system in there for power. Wow. And so he's looking right. He's looking right down and dealing with the load. How many horsepower are these turbines? 4,500 each. Wow. This is an impressive piece of equipment. What's the width of the, of the blades? And how did you start doing this? <clears throat> Me? Oh, I just got an addition of fights and time ago. So this is the intake, the actual pump is at the end of the suction. So he said it takes about a minute to fill up the uh, 2,650 gallons. You want to see, uh, see that came in take off? Oh yeah. Uh, pretty much guide them in where they need to go, make sure the other helicopters aren't getting bunched up behind them. Like a, like a mobile aircraft controller. Uh, yes, and he's also um, he's in charge of the safety, pretty much, of the fire from the air. Property up in Washington that we logged, and we were told that like there's the mills can only take so big that there's not that many mills that can take really big logs anymore. So uh, 500 gallons an hour is what this will burn, and you said 4,500 horsepower per engine. That's just like my motorcycle. <laughs> Nine thousand ponies pushing you around, right? Nine thousand horsepower. <laughs> Hard to imagine. Manuals. Okay, and so what's your name? Justin. Justin, and you're the mechanic. You keep this, this, what do you call this? Uh, is it a, a, a sky crane or? Yeah. What's the Forest Service designation? Type 1 helitanker. Type 1 helitanker. And so this is your truck and this is your, basically your huge rolling toolbox. Yep. And so all of these are, you probably have parts and tools and. The parts. I don't have much of a retirement plan. All your gauges. Maybe an airliner. Yep. Oh, so what are these radio part parts or no these are transmitters uh, switches relays and actuators wow I've never seen anything like it and so is it hard to determine what to take with you or do you just do you have routine maintenance you know it's coming up and you just make sure you have those things or yeah, most of it's planned most of it's routine uh, scheduled but it does break things do break Hope you have it with you. Right. And so where do you keep your tools? Uh, we all have tool bags. I mean, there's special tools that will be in the drawers there, but as far as what we use daily. Everybody's got one of those. That's it. It's smaller than I was would have ever thought. That, that's enough stuff to do, to do what you do need to do. Most of the maintenance, like I said, we got big wrenches and all the special aircraft-specific tools. Those which all, which will be just kept on the truck. Yep. Right. Wow. So where did you go to school to learn to work on these? I didn't. I just worked here. 
Just here. He goes a little bit lower in the water, and it actually pumps the water faster the lower you are in the water. Because you're not lifting it yeah, as high. you're not lifting it as high. So. Of course. Because at sea level, you can theoretically lift, what, 21 feet? Yeah. Maybe. water out of a, uh, a tank. Can you start that over? Sure. Well, that's a supported tank there. Mm -hmm. And we've been using the target so you can see that it's red on the bottom of it. So now we just loaded water to clear that stuff out so it doesn't corrode the inside of the tank. I didn't know you guys would suck up your targets. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, so what do they set up, a, just a huge reservoir? Yeah, they have a tank just exactly like that. There's one tank which was retardant and the other tank was clean water. And then we just come up and dump out the... Do you have any, any videos for, from the air? No, I don't. That. Nine thousand horsepower. That is an impressive machine. Well, really, we really were fortunate to have access and to get to talk to the pilots and the flight crew. That was fascinating. So, if you're enjoying these videos and you'd like to see more, because I do have more footage, then click the thumbs up. I appreciate that. It shows support for the channel, and uh, and we're uh, we're always grateful for that. Uh, if you'd like to see more firefighting helicopters, I have over here. If you click on the uh, on the video link there, uh, the K Max which is uh, a counter-rotating dual rotor helicopter, which is so interesting. And we uh, were really fortunate to meet the pilot. He was quite a character uh, and we really enjoyed that. So that's about it. Thank you for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video.